boxing heroes, the super fights. My name is Steve Bunce. I'm inside the famous Dow Youth Boxing Gym in London. And this fight is special. It's for the welterweight championship of the world in a ball ring in Mexico City on June 12th, 1975. The fighters, first the challenger, John H. Stracy. Well, he was a throwback, a genuine East End of London hero. He'd boxed in the 1968 Olympics and he'd won the British and the European titles. The champion and one of the greatest welterweights of all time was the Cuban-born but Mexico City-based Jose Napoles. He'd been the best since winning the world title in 1969. Napoles had made 13 defences, but he was 35 and he'd fought 88 times. Stracy was just a kid of 24, but he was also a veteran, having fought 46 times. Stracy was the underdog, Napoles was still brilliant, it was all set. At ringside, the fight genius with a golden voice, Harry Carpenter. John H. Stracy from Bethnal Green comes to the ring in Mexico City knowing that all the odds are stacked against him. The fight held at nearly 7,500 feet above sea level. That must affect stamina. It's on Napoli's own territory and all three officials in this fight will be Mexican. So John's got it all to do and everything is against him, including this great champion whom Stracy applauds as he comes to the ring, 35-year-old Jose Napoles, who has on and off held the World Welterweight Championship since 1969, one of the all-time great champions, a man of whom it's been said in his time is as great as Sugar Ray Robinson was in his time. They fight for the welterweight championship of the world, 10 stone 7. Some British support for Stracy, but clearly not much in this huge Mexico City bullring, the Plaza de Toros, which can hold 50,000 people seated. Mexican referee, two Mexican judges, John H. Stracy, the 25-year-old European welterweight champion from East London, has it all to prove against Napoli's the great world champion. Napoli's believed to be having a little weight trouble. He was forced to come to the scales twice at the weigh-in today in order to make the 10 stone 7. And if he has got weight trouble, then this ageing champion could really find the going difficult. Stracy, a notoriously slow starter. And the opening rounds of this fight are sure to be difficult for him. Napoles, known as mantequilla, which is Spanish for butter. He's as smooth as butter. And of course, almost everyone in this ball ring in Mexico City, in the open air, in the cool of the evening, solidly on Napoles' side. Stracy was uh, slightly injured in training on the left eye, which was cut in his last fight. So he's got a few problems there. Stracy looking confident and aggressive with the left jab in the opening seconds. Tracy said, I've got to go for him from the start. If I've got any chance at all, I've got to work for it. No holding back. But these opening moments, sure to be dangerous. For a man who's been proved to be able to be caught, Tracy, in the early moments of fights. And Napoli is looking for him with that wide left hook. Good jabs from Tracy. There's the left hook, there's a following right. And Stracy finds trouble in the opening seconds and the left hook puts him on the floor. Just the sort of trouble we thought he might have and he's got it. He's up early and he's deciding to squat and take the full compulsory eight count. So that is tantamount to disaster for Stracy in the opening minute and a half. And Naples is not a man to let you off the hook once he's got you going. So now the 25 year old British uh, European champion, Stracy, really has got to work now to survive in this fight. And Napolis is after him and can hardly miss him. Stracy looks to his corner, which is on the right. 
There won't be any help coming from there until the bell ends the first round. So Naples has made the best possible start to the defence of his title. And that's not a good opening for John H. Stracey. Caught by the punches that he must have feared. He looked aggressive in the opening stages with those good left jabs, finding the head, but that first right, then the big left, following punches from Naples, all got Stracey into trouble in this opening round. And as much as he moved round the ring, he couldn't escape those left hooks. And so Stracey on the floor, looking to the corner, not too hurt, but nonetheless, that's not a good start. So the Mexican spectators settle to their seats again. Very exciting with Naples having clearly won the first. Over the years, Naples has taken part in 17 world title fights, and he's lost only two of them, and one of those was for the middleweight championship. Here is a truly great champion of our time. is still very much on the attack. Obviously looking for a quick finish. If he is having weight trouble, then the sooner he gets this over from his point of view, the better. He won't want to go far against a younger opponent. And Strace is at least 10 years younger. just beginning to go down over Mexico City. In this open-air fight in the bull ring of Mexico City, with Stracey, he's back to the wall after the opening knockdown. And having to take care. And Napoli's working all the time, looking for a few more punches, like the ones that hit Stracey in the first, and Stracey's finding one or two, hitting him again. Napoli is holding and told about it by the Mexican referee. Stracey's face reddened. But he's made a good recovery after that bad start. Foolish at this stage to say that Stracey's chances are good because the danger has been shown to be there. And Naples is still strong and a hurtful puncher. <laughs> Quick hooks. Stracey covering up. is shaking his head, no, not me holding, but he was holding a bit, and who can blame him? Got to try and tie this man up. So two rounds completed, neither of which Stracey could possibly have won. But the second wasn't as bad as the first. And already you can see that Naples now has got trouble around the eyes. And that's interesting because after only two rounds, although Stracey has been under pressure, he's done enough to cause the corner to put a patch on the right eye. And you can see for yourself how the left eye of Naples is already beginning to swell. And it's swelling so badly that in fact it's closing. And this fight won't go much further before Naples won't be able to see out of the left eye. So although Stracey has lost the opening runs, in fact, there's enough trouble on Napoli's face to give the British camp a lot of hope. Round three, Stracey home. Ten years difference, at least in their age. And if Napoli's has had trouble making the weight, 
then every round that goes by, there's going to be more trouble for him. There aren't many Stracy supporters in this bull ring, but they're making more noise than the Mexican supporters who've gone a bit quiet because they've seen the damage on Napoli's face. And Stracy is jabbing well and confident. signs already here in this third round that this fight need not necessarily go Napoli's way. He's got real trouble with those eyes of his. And Strace is getting just that little bit confident, little shuffle there, showing out, not afraid and not worried. Good round for Strace. He's making the other man miss and he's got him. He's caught him and Napoli's is down. Third round. Referee telling Stracey to get to a neutral corner. Somebody's thrown a cushion or something into the ring, protesting against Stracey, who wanted to keep on punching Naples. Compulsory eight count. Naples is up, but it's a compulsory eight count under the rules. So now the world champion marked heavily on the face and has been on the floor. And suddenly, from being Naples' fight, it's become Stracey's fight. Still dangerous, but no telling now which way it will go. What a good round for Stracy. First one he's won, but won it decisively. Did most of the work, and he caught Napoli's with the punches that really mattered, and these were those punches. Stracy attacking with confidence, got caught, but it hurt his man, and the legs went. Stracy hit him when he was down, and that's why a cushion came into the ring in protest, because Stracy impulsively hit his man he was down. But in fact, the referee treated him fairly leniently there, because a Mexican official might easily have thrown Stracy out for that, but he didn't. It's 1975, the world welterweight title. John H. Stracy against Jose Napoles. This is quite amazing. Back to Mexico City's bull ring, Harry Carpenter commentating. So Napoles patched up again on the right eye, left eye shutting. Round four coming up, and this aging champion must know now that he's got all sorts of problems facing him in this ring in Mexico City. Almost seven and a half thousand feet above sea level and which one is going to feel the effects. Napoli is getting some encouragement from the crowd and needs it. He's in trouble. Round four. Stracy still coming forward. coming back strongly with these hooks, the sort of combination punching for which he's famous, and that is exactly the sort of thing that destroyed Ralph Charles, who was managed by the same man as Stracy a few years ago at Wembley, and Napoli's knocked out Charles in the seventh, with a series of punches just like that. But Stracy taking these good punches from Napoli's in these early rounds and taking them well, and still looking very, very strong. left jab is absolutely beating the head off Naples. Stracy bleeding from the nose, face marked, but not as badly as Naples. Fire, 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 fire. 
Naples, the veteran of 83 professional fights. 17 years of professional. 17 world title fights behind him. And still very dangerous. It's five years since any welterweight in the world has beaten Naples. But Stracy is threatening to do it. Round four. Doubtful now whether Naples can see out of his left eye. Perspective going, judgment of distance going from him. Backing up, getting caught. Look at that left eye. Catching Stracy occasionally. But the boy from Bethnal Green taking them and still coming forward. And that is very significant. Coming to the end of the fourth. Quite a good round for Naples, but he hasn't put his man on the floor. So Naples ahead on points, but perhaps that doesn't matter so much. A lot of encouragement coming for Stracy from his corner. Left eye bleeding. That's the eye that was uh, cut in his last fight and reopened again in training here, so that could give Stracy trouble. It's an old injury. Look at cut now on the right eye of Naples, as well as the left eye shutting. So the world champion fighting in his own capital, in front of his own people, at his own altitude, suffering all sorts of indignities here from Stracy. Mind your head from the referee. Stracy coming forward, taking the initiative. Significant that Naples takes time to get off the ropes when he's caught there. Head being pushed back by these jabs. Gets cautioned by the referee. The Mexican crowd don't like it. And Strace is being a bit rough in these clinches. He's really turning the tables. A lot of overseas fighters our men have met in the past have been a bit rough when it's come to the point. But now it's Stracy. He's really showing a few tricks here against Naples, the old stager. And Naples is really beginning to look very tired and almost distraught here. Less and less in the punches of Naples. Just pushing him out. Again, he catches Stracy with what looks like a good right hand, and Stracy can take it. Stracy pumping out the punches. Mostly lefts, the occasional right coming in, working to that very badly damaged face of the world champion. And really, by the look of that face of Naples, the world champion's only got a few rounds in which to finish this, because he surely can't go far with that sort of uh, damage. And to the fifth coming up. Good round for Stracy. Blood on Stracy's face. But he's putting in the punches as the bell ends the fifth. Sixth. So we could be faced with an historic moment for British boxing. If Stracy could win the welterweight championship of the world on the champion's own ground. Stracy, the grease on the left eye. Left jab pumping out into the face, the badly marked face of the 35-year-old champion. The refereeing has been very, very fair, one must say that. 
Although it was thought the odds were stacked against Tracy with the officials being Mexican, this Mexican referee has treated this fight absolutely fairly. Good jabs from Tracy. Always working into the injured face of Napoli. And Napoli looks desperately tired. The legs seem to be going. There's nothing in the punches. And Stracy is still working hard. And Napoli faces defeat in his own capital city. If Stracy can only keep this up. The champion has slowed down to nothing. And this crowd, apart from a few cheers, they know that something is wrong with Napoli. He's trying hard and getting nowhere. encouragement now is coming from the British corner. They can be heard above everybody else in this Mexican ballroom. There are only a few Britons in the crowd but they're making all the noise because Stracy is going on to win. He's got his man reeling all over the place and Napoli can't do anything about it. Back to the ropes again. Nothing in the champion's punches. And Stracy puts it all in, punch after punch, and he's been pulled off because that's too much for Napoli. And Stracy has won the World Away Championship of the World, and he's been pulled down by his jubilant corner. Stracy, 25, the European champion from Bethnal Green, has won the World World Away Championship in Mexico City, taken the fight to his opponent on his opponent's own territory and put in every conceivable punch in the sixth round to bring this to a stop and there was nothing Napoli could do about it except run back and back until the ropes stopped him going any further and Stracy knew he had him, he'd set him up and all he had to do then was to keep putting in the punches left, right, left, right, remorseless barrage and Napoli could only stand with his back to the ropes and take everything. And Stracy knew he'd got him. And a famous reign was coming to an end here as Napoli met defeat at the hands of Stracy. And Stracy at 25 achieving his life's ambition and winning the welterweight championship of the world. Stracy, the world champion, in a big upset. They cried tears of joy that night in Mexico City and Bethnal Green in London's East End. Napoli has never fought again. His status as a legend secure. Stracy talked boldly of fighting middleweight world champion Carlos Monzon before making one emotional defence at Wembley against Ryan O'Neill's fighter, Hedgeman Lewis. Sadly, Strace, as he was known, lost to Carlos Palomino in his second defence and retired after just two more fights. I'm Steve Bunce, and this has been Boxing Heroes, the Super Fights. Until next time, adios and thanks for watching. It's the best league in the world for a reason. More